Developing news, nurses, state lawmakers, and now members of the public are pushing back on Care New England's plan to close Memorial Hospital. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Pawtucket with today's developments. Kim. Well, Mike, as we speak, there is a public hearing going on here inside the Goff Middle School in Pawtucket as the Rhode Island Department of Health considers the transfer of the primary care license from Memorial Hospital and also the closure of that hospital's emergency department. This hearing comes just hours after nurses picketed outside of the hospital demanding more information. <laughs> Carrying signs bearing messages like patients before profits, members of the local nurses union picket in the cold, demanding more information about the closure of Memorial Hospital from its parent company, Care New England. They have said repeatedly uh, that they would be maintaining some services and some jobs, but as of yet, we don't know what they are. Care New England says the situation at Memorial has become unsustainable with few patients and millions of dollars in losses every month. Now the Department of Health is holding public hearings like this one as Care New England prepares to close Memorial's emergency room and transfer its primary care license. The company announced last week they'd keep internal medicine and family care offices in Pawtucket, but nurses like Rita Brennan, the union president and 33-year employee at the hospital, say they want more details and transparency a spokesman for Care New England says they'll continue to update the staff and community on developments. So far, no final closing date has been announced. And those nurses who were picketing today, not just looking for more information, but also looking to stop the closure of Memorial Hospital, local lawmakers and the mayors of Central Falls and Pawtucket looking to do the same. That will ultimately be up to the Rhode Island Department of Health. Now, this is currently the only scheduled public hearing, but they will be taking written testimony until December 11th. Reporting live in Pawtucket tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.